Hi again, this is Carol from Crinkled Path Journals. Welcome back and let's get going on another junk journal with me, memory keeping. I'm working today with this printout that I got off the internet. It's a actual box top for the Holly Hobby color form set. Now, if you're making a journal to sell, you can't use copyrighted material. So I just want to be clear. This is my personal journal. I wanted a picture of the toy that I had in 1975. And believe it or not, they are making these again and they're for sale. So I was pleased to find it. Uh, and I printed off a copy of the cover and the actual little paper doll in miniature size. So that's here. Um, sorry, I said paper doll, they're color forms. Those, they're, those plastic cling is a color form. Uh, we, we called them Skittles <laughs> when I was a kid and I don't know where that came from. Um, if you know, let me know because I, I've tried to I don't know if that's just something my mom called them and or if that was a brand name before color forms that's what stuck when when my mom was talking about them so i think i'm going to make a pocket with this and i wanted to be able to slide things in and out of it easily and so i'm going to use this old file folder and I'm going to use this as a template to make a little fold over file that I can tuck in and out of it. So I'm going to just quickly trace this, cut it out, and then make a pocket out of this. So I remember having a Raggedy Ann and Andy color form. It was like a dollhouse where you had all the little things to decorate the inside of the house or the clings. And I remember having a Sesame Street one that, it, or maybe I'm not quite remembering correctly, maybe it was two different sets. The one set had all transparent shapes geometric shapes and you could layer them on top of each other and then it would change color like when you layered a blue one and a yellow one it would make a green and um, it didn't have I don't remember that one having characters so maybe I am remembering or either that set had those shapes with the Sesame Street characters or maybe the Sesame Street characters were a different set and I just played with them together. I, I honestly don't remember exactly there, but uh, anyway, I love paper dolls as I've talked about in previous videos. And if you haven't seen the start to this series, hope you can go back and catch up. I love the paper dolls and I liked color forms because they were sort of just another version of the paper doll. I got a bunch of these green legal file folders from our local freebie site. A bunch of them have the metal hangers. I actually do use them for hanging storage for my junk journaling supplies, but a bunch of them are missing the metal hangers from the ends, like the glue let go. And I've, I've still saved them because you can make journaling cards and tags and little folders out of them. They're a nice sturdy, but not too heavy that you can't cut them weight. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to fussy cut all these little pieces, but I did want to save them because this is the 
the pieces from the original set, although they were more this size, like this is actual size. And I remember the box, you know, that they came in being about that size. So uh, this is kind of fun. So I think I'm going to make a pocket out of this. I'm going to put it out there as far along the edge as I can. And then I'm going to tuck this inside. So let me check to make sure. Oh, good. It's actually going to fit. I don't care if this piece hangs out a little bit because I want there to be a clue that there's something in there to pull. And I, I may go ahead and, yeah, let's go ahead and do a little thumb notch here. And use my small round punch to do that. Looks like this one's getting a little dull. Need to take some foil and sharpen it. Okay, that didn't work. Got to fix that. Leave that out to get that sharpened up. And I'll just trim it off so I don't wrinkle it too much. That's better. Use my handy dandy glitter art glitter glue just around the very edge. Well, and I, I just remember liking the prairie style. Uh, one of my friends in school's mom was a, uh, she liked to sew, and I remember she made us uh, sort of, I think they called them handkerchief dresses, but it was basically like the prairie fabrics, and it was layered in these um, squares, um, and it had kind of the prairie skirt style, and they we, we were matching, and that was really a big deal, and I remember loving Little House on the Prairie and you know, all those kinds of shows from that era and the I liked the Holly Hobby books and the Gingham Girl paper dolls and all all that that were very popular in that era. Okay, I'm gonna slide that in there. We might we might want to decorate that a little bit. want to make sure I have enough room that it fits. That's fit. That fits well. I thought about um, fussy cutting some of these flowers. Not that you want to watch me cut, but I think I'm going to do a quick um, shadowed edge around this, not, not a real detailed cut. And let's add it to our page. So I usually do a quick rough cut around and then I just go back anywhere where I can sort of smooth out any rough transitions, any places where I got a square cut, just so that everything is smooth. Just because I want to add a little bit of collage to the page. Let's see what else can we put on there. Maybe I can find some ribbon or lace or something. There's this a little little bit like burlap I like that it might trim it down though so that you can still read the dress up set this 
this is part of a book binding fiber and it still has some gluey bits in it but that might be a nice crusty layer to add <laughs> I like that texture piece added and maybe maybe a little bit of lace to keep it girly okay My glue stick just rolled away. Hopefully I won't need that. I'm just gonna stick that right in the middle. Trim it down a little bit. Like I said, so we could still read the dress up set. You know, when I think back about my childhood, I don't, I don't feel like I really had a lot, but that's one of the things about focusing on some positive memories and really letting myself um, think more about some details is that it really is making me very grateful for things like that friend's mom who sewed us matching dresses. Um, my mom was working full time and she knew how to sew, but I don't know that she ever sewed clothes. I think mostly she sewed for mending and curtains and things. So it was just really fun. And that mom that sewed us the dresses, she later uh, went on to actually have some sewing classes in her home and I got to learn how to sew when I was in junior high um, and of course I got to do home ec and so between her sewing class and home ec I sewed I learned to sew pretty well which was which is fun because I sewed costumes and things for my own girls as they were growing up and also um, went through a period of time in when I was a young adult when I sewed um, like fabric teddy bears and uh, it was just really a fun hobby and I'm just grateful that I was given those opportunities to learn that skill because of a friend. I don't know, I think I might bunch this up or just put a piece of it in. Let's see, Let's see where I want this. <laughs> I like the way that feels. So I'm thinking I might just bunch this up a little bit and glue it glue it down here with these other pieces or maybe up there. So let me just cut a little piece off. And I'm just gonna sort of fold it here a couple times. Three times. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. Then I'm gonna use my fabric tack for this, just so it holds the first time. Since there's so many layers, I think it will soak through and hopefully grab them all. to get me good and sticky in the meantime. All right, 
And I think I'm going to use the glitter glue on this just so it doesn't squish through. It'll hopefully stay mostly on the back side. I keep it on there lightly. Okay, it's gonna still show out from underneath our flower. Yes. I like that. Okay this down I feel like it needs maybe one of our little butterflies again Fingers are sticky. I like the little one. Okay. I like that. Now let's if we can't do something with this. I've had these daisies on my desk since the first episode. I don't know why I do that. I, I feel like I always start saying something and then as soon as I start thinking about what I'm putting on my uh, page, I stop my sentence and <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, you were talking. <laughs> There's a bit of a learning curve to talking to the video camera while you're working. Let's see. I think I'm going to glue that on and then just fold it around and glue the back. Okay, let's get this down. That could not have fit more perfectly. <laughs> Barely anything to trim off. So usually when I'm looking for pages to use for collage, I really gravitate towards these illustrations that look hand-drawn, hand-painted, but this book that I got these out of, I think it was a Sunset Garden book, if I remember correctly, and it had some pages with actual flower photographs, which I tend to kind of shy away from the photos over illustrations and I like the matte pages over glossy pages but every once in a while they're like simple and pretty enough that I that I like them and I keep them so if you're watching the video and you have already done some junk journaling or you've started collecting some things to put in a junk journal, let me know what you, what kind of pages you like to collect. I'm sure you'll be seeing in my videos to come, if you stick around for the, for the ride, um, you'll see many of the kinds of illustrations and pages that I prefer. Uh, so I like to hear from you if you have some favorites. Okay, just a 
a little smidge there. There's a little bit here hanging over. So I think I'm just going to keep this really plain. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I guess it's just folded. It's just the fold. It's okay. I'll just make this side match. There we go. So I think I'm going to tuck my journaling in here with, with the little doll. And I'm definitely going to write about um, playing with this and the other color forms I had and write about that, like, I'm not knowing why it's called Skittles. And then also about my friend's mom who made us the dresses. And like I said in my last video when I was talking about photographs, I, I'm really hoping to eventually look for some of these pictures hopefully find them and get them in because i'm pretty sure that there was a picture in a yearbook or something from when we were like in second grade i think when we wore those dresses so hopefully i can find a picture of that to tuck in here and i just thank you for joining me for another page today and i hope you'll come back again for the next video Bye-bye. Well, I'm j very sad to have just discovered that I was videotaping doing this page. And my calendar alert went off or something. I guess I didn't have it on Do Not Disturb. And it turned the video off. And I proceeded to pretty much finish it <laughs> without noticing that the camera wasn't rolling. So I'm going to talk through it quickly, uh, what I did, and uh, tack it on to the Holly Hobby page video that I am just finishing editing. So this pattern for this little dress with the pinafore and the bonnet, um, my aunt made me this dress for either first or second grade. So we would do the traditional Thanksgiving feasts and each year the first graders were the Native Americans and the second graders were the pilgrims and, or maybe it was the other way around. But in any case, my, um, my aunt who played more of a role like a grandmother to me, made this dress for me and I'm hoping I can find a picture. I know my parents didn't ever take a picture of me in it, but a neighbor took a picture of me in front of their uh, white painted colonial fireplace. And so I think I have that picture somewhere. So the elements on this page, I really uh, just took inspiration from I have a, a little box with lots of sewing ephemera in it and um, just needle packets and sewing fabric receipts and needle holders and um, goodness, all, all kinds of sewing related items and one of the things that was in this little storage container was this old measuring tape for for sewing and so I used some of the measuring excuse me I used some of the measuring tape along the edge and then a little piece here this was a, a needle holder and this little insignia here with the F on it was in my button bin when I went to go look for buttons and my maiden name and my aunt's maiden name started with an F. So I reinforced the pattern envelope with a piece of music paper 
and it's uh, just kind of a, it was a heavier music paper and so it gave some heft to this so that it won't wrinkle or crinkle too much. I used some fabric paper to reinforce here and as a background on my collage. I used a piece of the pattern instruction for part of my collage and then I tied this piece of the measuring tape around the button card and I have this is the front of the paper from this and I'm going to go ahead and just put that up in this corner and then I use some rickrack and some seam binding to make this other red element at the bottom of the page so that I'm using that rule of threes with the red and then these two flowers were on the same page and I still had it sitting here on the desk and so I think I'm going to just go ahead and put it up here on the paper with some washi tape as a hinge and I'm going to try to find that picture of me in the in the outfit and then if I do find the picture, I'm going to put it on the back of this flower card here and, and cover that up. And if I don't find the picture, then I think uh, that's where I'll put my journaling. If not, if I don't journal here, I, I may just attach more plain paper here to journal on. So let me go ahead and trim the washi tape so that it's nice and smooth on the edge. And then I'm going to glue this down and then this page will be done. I'm so sad that I didn't get to bring you along for the journey thanks to my phone. I guess I learned my lesson. I honestly thought it would keep filming no matter what. <laughs> so um, I guess I learned the hard way today and I just thank you for your time in letting me kind of describe what I did on this page. I'll see you in the next video.